All right, so in this problem, you were given two functions, f of x equals 7x plus 9, and g of x equals negative x squared plus 5, and we need to evaluate their compositions, f of g of 4 and g of f of negative 3. So let's do this one at a time. In order for us to evaluate f of g of 4, we need to make sure that we understand this means to do f of f of g of 4. So here, we need to make sure that we do the evaluation of g of 4 first. And the best thing here is, is to just do this off to the side. Don't clutter up your work, your main work over here, when you're just trying to evaluate g of 4. So we're going to do this off to the side. g of 4 means negative, parentheses, squared plus 5, and we're just plugging in the 4. So this is negative. You square the 4 to get 16. Make sure the square does not get applied to the negative. Combine these two and you get negative 11. And so that is what's going to go inside here. So before we can evaluate f, we have to evaluate g at 4. So now we're going to do f of negative 11. And we can work out f of negative f of negative 11 off to the side, just like we did g of 4. So f of negative 11. Again, we're just using this function up here, f. We're replacing the x with the input value negative 11. And we're just going to do some arithmetic. So we end up with negative 77 plus 9. And we combine these two, we get negative 68. So for this first composition, we get negative 68 for the end result. And now let's see what happens if we do g of f of negative 3. So the way that we work this is the same way we worked the last one. The order is very important. So g of f of negative 3 means that the first thing I'm going to need to do here is to evaluate my function f at the value negative 3. And just as in the last part of the problem, we're going to do this guy off to the side. So f of negative 3 means 7 times x, so the x is being replaced with negative 3 plus 9, and we just do this nice, simple arithmetic. Doesn't that make you feel good? And so we combine these guys and we get negative 12. Keep in mind that negative 12 is not the end result. See, the negative 3 went into f to give you negative 12, and now we're going to plug the negative 12 into our function g. So over here to the side, let's evaluate g of negative 12. Make sure you pay very close attention to your signs. So that's negative, parentheses, negative 12 squared, plus 5. When we're doing the operations here, please make sure you pay attention to the fact that these two negatives don't get to see each other. The square is applied to the negative 12 first, which gives us a positive 144. And now the negative gets applied, so it's negative 144 plus 5, which gives us a total of negative 139. So for the main part of our work, g of negative 12 equals negative 139. Remember, Function composition order is everything. So here the negative 3 gets plugged into f first, and then that result gets plugged into g. In the previous part of the problem, f of g of 4 meant that 4 gets plugged into g first, and once you evaluate that, then you can evaluate f at that value, negative 11.